Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you. India's PM Modi unveils 6 vision document six months after 5G rollouts. Activists raise concern over human rights situation in POK, Gilgit, Baltistan. And Sri Lanka receives first tranche of IMF bailout. And now for all the details, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday unveiled the Bharat 60 vision document and launched the 60 research and development test pet in New Delhi. Along with this, the Prime Minister also inaugurated the International Telecommunication Union's Area Office and Innovation Centre. He said the 60 test bed and the vision document will not only usher new energy in digital India, but also provide solutions and innovations for the Global South. He underscored that digital technology is universal in India and accessible to everyone. He said that India is discussing 60 just after six months after the 5G rollout. The Prime Minister emphasized that India was only a user of telecom technology before 4G, but now it is moving towards being the biggest exporter of telecom technology in the world. The rollout ke baad hi, aaj hum 6G ki baat kar rahe hain. Aur ye Bharat ka confidence dikhata hai. Police in India's northern Punjab state on Wednesday recovered the bike which they believe Khalistani sympathizer Amrit Pal Singh used to evade arrest. A CCTV footage showed Singh riding pillion on a bike wearing a different style of turban and black goggles, suggesting that he tried to change his appearance to get away. The police on Wednesday also interrogated family members of the radical leader as the manhunt entered the fifth day. Police has arrested over 110 supporters of Amrit Pal, accusing some of them of attempted murder, obstruction of law enforcement and creating disharmony. While many Sikh community leaders say the demand for a separate Khalistan has little support in Punjab, some security officials warn that trouble could again brew if activists like Singh are not stopped. Moving on, Kashmiri political activists highlighted the worsening human rights situation in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and Gilgit-Baltistan in Geneva on Tuesday. They raised concern over rising radicalism, exploitation of natural resources and trampling of fundamental rights of the people in the region. Kashmiri political activist on Tuesday held an event in Geneva and raised concern over rising radicalism, exploitation of natural resources and worsening human rights situation in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and Gilgit-Baltistan. They said there is growing unrest amongst the locals in both the occupied territories over Pakistan's worsening economic crisis, of which they are also bearing the brunt. There has been no development over the years, but they are made to pay heavy taxes while they have no civil liberties. जैसे पाकिस्तान बयान कर रहा है ऐसी सूरत हाल नहीं है वहां के हालात बहुत ज्यादा खराब है और बुनियादी जरूरतों के लिए लोग ना वहां रोड़े हैं ना वहां हॉस्पिटल्स हैं ना वहां स्कूलों और कॉलेजों की हालत खराब है تعلیمی نصاب वहां दुरुस्त तरीके से नहीं पढ़ाया जाता पाकिस्तान से हम तालाए पाकिस्तान हम पढ़ रहे अपनी तारीख में पढ़ने नहीं दी जा रही मलिन गिलगित बल्तिस्तान इन पीओके दे आर ट्राइंग टू एनेक्स ओवर एरियाज इनटू पाकिस्तान एंड वी आर demanding from international community to intervene and protect our life, liberty and property of our people in Pakistan occupied Kashmir and Baltistan. The activist said Pakistan falsely claims to have granted autonomy to the region while elected officials have no say in policy making. They said an assertive international intervention is the only way the hapless people can be saved from imminent doom. At least 13 people were killed and more than 90 injured in Afghanistan and Pakistan after a magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck the region late on Tuesday. Officials said nine people were killed and 44 injured in northwest Pakistan and hospitals in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province were put into state of emergency overnight. 
Meanwhile, at least four people were killed and 50 injured in Afghanistan. The U.S. Geological Survey said the epicenter was in Afghanistan's Hindu Kush mountains. The quake was felt over an area more than 1,000 kilometers, including in parts of northern India. Large parts of South Asia are seismically active because of tectonic plate known as the Indian plate is pushing north into Eurasian plate. Sri Lanka's President Ranil Vikramasinghe told the parliament on Wednesday that the island nation has received the first tranche of the IMF bailout program. Vikramasinghe said that the credit facility amounts to approximately 3 billion US dollars over four years with the first tranche of 333 million dollars received. The country is expecting about $7 billion more in rapid credit support from other parties. He emphasized his government will now work to get inflation to mid-single digit levels by mid-2023. The government has been in the city of 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 the city. ये दैनिक आप क्रियात्मक करने प्रतिपाती वालीन ऐत पेन्ने में आवश्यकता है आप टेक की आवक ने आप मुहूर्त जिन काटू का साथ दिया एआई इकोनॉमिक मिसमैनेजमेंट कपल्ड विद द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द कोविड 19 पैंडेमिक हैड लेफ्ट द कंट्री सीवरली शॉर्ट ऑफ डॉलर्स फॉर इसेंशियल इंपोर्ट्स एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ The ancient city of Lalitpur in Nepal observed the festival of horses or Ghode Jatra on Tuesday. As part of the tradition, Astaman Maharjan, a local, became Kaji Sahib, the highest post awarded in the royal palace, and rode his horse in the city. He was cheered on by spectators. This festival is said to be a practice since the Malla regime. It is observed annually as a celebration of the victory over a ferocious demon called Tundi in ancient times. It is believed that the hooves of the horses on Jhore Jatra keeps the demon spirits at bay and is considered to bring good luck for the Nepalese people. <laughs> Hundreds of people gathered in parts of India's Maharashtra and took out processions and feasted to mark the Gudi Padwa festival, the beginning of their traditional New Year. Take a look. People in India's Maharashtra state on Wednesday celebrated Gudi Padwa festival, their traditional New Year, by taking out grand processions. Hundreds of men and women took part in the celebrations wearing traditional attires and dancing to beat of the drums as they displayed Maharashtra's culture and history. They also offered prayers to the Guri, a cloth filled with leaves, sugar crystals and other offerings that are tied to a bamboo pole as they believe it brings prosperity and good luck. According to our Maharashtrian culture, Guri Padwa is the first day of our uh, calendar. So we celebrate it as our new year. So uh, while celebrating this, we make it a point that we celebrate it in the morning with uh, our entire family. As you can see, our entire families, we have, we have uh, come here with our entire families, with our elders, with our kids. So uh, it's a social function for us and uh, we really enjoy it every year. Meanwhile, Hindus elsewhere in India thronged temples to offer prayers to mark the Chaitra Navratri festival, which is dedicated to Durga, the goddess of power. During the nine-day fasting festival, devotees worship the different manifestations of the goddess in order to obtain her blessings. There is a goddess manifestation linked with each day of Navratri. It is considered among the five most sacred festivals according to the Hindu religion. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.